Hi everyone, welcome along. Today, I'm going to do a review of this laser distance measurer. Here's our old fashioned friend over here, good old jobby, but you know, they do have their limitations, don't they, when you've got to try and hold the end of a tape and get measuring. Um, but this is where you get, you know, really ahead with the game with one of these when you can just get a measure with a laser distance. So, I've been sent this one from Safebo in China and uh, we can have a look at it now. I'll bring it down to the table here and show you what you get with it. And as you can see, you get a nice case, a lanyard to go through there, and the actual unit itself, which takes two batteries. So, specification of it, one thing, it does come with batteries, by the way, very handy. Okay, so obviously it does length, uh, it does area, and it does volume. Uh, and it's got a very good range at 40 meters, which I think is very, very good. So without delay, uh, I'm going to let Jan have a go at uh, using it and see how she gets on. Here we go. First of all, I'm going to see if it will measure the distance from this wall here to that wall there. So I'm going to pop it against there. On here, there's a little red button that says Mez. So that's obviously short for measure. So we pop that on there. And if I push it, if you look over at that wall, you'll see the laser can you see that laser beam? So now when I push that red button again, it's coming up at 2.862 meters. Now I've used a trusty rule, because I trust nothing. And we have here 2.86 meters. Bearing in mind, I know this is on the skirting, I went behind this piece of wall here, so it's bang on. So that's pretty accurate, I'm rather pleased with that. Okay then, so now for the next measurement. So the other lovely thing about this, you can do a continuous measurement. So if you wanted to work around the perimeter of somewhere, so obviously it's on and here, if you push this, can you see the plus button? And then you measure the distance. And then you measure the distance again, say you've walked around the house, and you're trying to do the perimeter. And can you see it adding on? And then again, you walk down the next wall, you're adding it on, that's added those two together, and then you add it on the next one. So it just continually adds it on for you, which is quite nifty. If you were, maybe, I don't know, you needed skirting balls and you were trying to work out how much you needed around the perimeter of a room, pretty nifty. And now for good old Pythagoras' theorem. Don't we all love Pythagoras? If you're not sure what I'm talking about, refer to the Wizard of Oz and the Scarecrow. He knows all about it. The beauty of this is, by using his theorem, you can work out the distance from the floor to the ceiling. Now in here, obviously, clearly, I could stand on a chair and work it out, but if you're outside in a building and you want to work out the distance from the ground to the roof of a building, maybe you needed some guttering, or maybe you're working out how much paint you needed and that was one measurement you needed, but you didn't want to get the ladders out or mess around, you can do it with this gadget and it's absolutely so easy to do, it's fantastic. Now to work this out, you have to push this little button here. Look at the screen and you will see this is coming on. It is saying you can measuring that one now. If you push it again, it will say you're measuring that distance down there. We don't want that one in this case. You push it again, it's doing another measurement of above and the, and the media one. In this case, if you were painting a wall outside and you only wanted to come halfway down a wall, or even indoors for that matter, you could work it out where your border was and work your paint out. So there are all different settings. Then you've got another one there that, that scrolls and you can do both. But you'd need to have, you'd need to be at a midpoint way for this one to work. So we're going to give it a go now. So we are ready now to measure the hypotenuse. So I'm coming down here and I'm using this carpet gripper here as my point. And if I, if I push the measure, if the red light doesn't come on, just push the measure button and the little red light. And can you see the red light up there now on the wall? So I'm gonna try and be as steady as I can. There we are, and I'm now gonna hit the measure button again. It has now measured that as 3.67 meters from this point here. Keep it at the same point, which is why I'm using this carpet grid, because I know then I've not moved this back further or forward. And I'm now going to measure across here. So this is the second side of our triangle. This first measurement here was the hypotenuse. This second one here was 
this bottom part of the triangle, it is saying now that the height of my room is 2.32 metres. So let's find out if it is. And there you are. Correct measurement. Yeah, 2.32. Bang on. Finally, you've got this little button here that does area. Okay, and that would be handy for when uh, Al is going to do my tiles in here. I'll be able to measure the area of the floor and work out how many tiles I mm. want. And that's quite simple. You can just do that length there and that length there. Push it again and you can see the cube. So you can work out the cube. So say you needed to work out the cubed area of this one. You can see it's flashing up with that measurement first. I'll put something there and just click it. You see the first measurement's going on to there. Then it's telling me to do the next measurement, which is across there. Okay, and then the last measurement, which is across there. Okay, then it adds it up, and then you can see the cubic area. Well, there you are then. I think we're just about done. The screen's really easy to read. It's, it's lovely. They're not too small. It's not too dark. It's excellent light capability on there so you can easily get your measurements sorted. Okay, there's the box that comes with it and it, you can see the measuring things that we just showed you there. Pythagoras' theorem <laughs> and other ways of measuring out the house. You get a little general little diagram there. Again, if you're not sure how to use it, it is there on the back of the box. So there we are. That's it. A nice little gadget from Safebo. Uh, I like things like this. Saves a lot of hard work crawling around with tape measures. Why not get one? I love it. Thanks very much for watching. Um, all my stuff, you know where to go. There'll be a link here if you want to get yourself one of these. And you know where to go. Derrickton33. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.